Satish, you have joined? Dr. Satish? Yes, sir. I have joined, sir. I have joined. Okay. Hi, Dr. Satish. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, Dr. Hi, Satish. Hi, Anumar. Hello. Hi, Anumar. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good, Good evening. Good evening to everyone. Actually, I took out some printout from Council of Science Editors also. Good. But for a Pandi Payu, print out the Manasara Lia, coffee baking. Nikita has done very well preparation. She will tell everything. Right. 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 Oh, so we are starting now. Uh, good evening from Team Innovative, New Delhi. Myself, Nikita Pandit from Innovative Publications, and I welcome you all editors in Editors Training Program and Awards. Under the series of events and training to educate our authors, reviewers, and editors, Innovative is constantly emphasizing on the quality and publication ethics in research publication. In the same series, we are here with editors training program and uh, to reward our editors in award programs. Today we have renowned academicians with us. All are from great editorial background and having many international and national publications and with uh, associated with international and national journals. I wish we all get benefited by their experience and take from Macy's to know everything about the role and responsibilities of editors. My pleasure to introduce our panelists today. Um, uh, Dr. Aces Jha, President IESRF. Uh, good evening, sir, and welcome. President ISRF, editor in various general, editor in chief of COVID, director Harish Chandra Orthopedic Research Institute, and patron and founder president of Indian Orthopedic Rheumatology Association, and with many associated with many more societies. Dr. Lalit Gupta, sir, good evening, sir, welcome. Good evening, everyone, thank you. Dr. Uh, Gupta is senior consultant in anesthesiology and intensive care, mm -hmm. as, uh, is an editor-in-chief in Indian General of Clinical Anesthesia. He is also associated with many international journals, around 30 and as an editor, and he is a roundtable panelist of BRICS Civil Forum. He is academic mentor of Pablon and Clarivet. He is also associated with many critical care and anesthesia society. Welcome, sir. Then Dr. Anusharma, ma'am. Good evening. Welcome, ma'am. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, she is professor in anatomy, DMCH Ludhiana, editor-in-chief, Indian Journal of Clinical Anatomy and Physiology, editor in various journal, Recently, uh, in the editorial workshop organized by IESRF, she gave a lecture on role and responsibilities of editor. If, uh, I would like to request you all, please visit our uh, YouTube channel uh, for uh, getting updated and uh, her lecture uh, on the uh, YouTube channel. Thank you, Doc. Uh, thank you, ma'am, and welcome. Uh, I uh, now I introduce Dr. Shatish sir, Muthu sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, he is associate editor in International Journal of Orthopedic Rheumatology and Indian Journal of Orthopedics. He is a peer reviewer of more than fifty uh, plus journal, and he is academic mentor of Pablon and Clarivet. So I uh, uh, welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, uh, along with that, I congratulate all of our editor, editors who did well to take the journals on new heights. 
uh, and we all have to cheer up for the news that most of our general is uh gone through the editorial trials of wave of science successfully so uh it's a uh, cheer yeah congratulations to all of our editors uh but still the flow flag hosting is required because um to get victory in uh and the final indexing in wos uh wave of science and directory of open access of journal the doaz we have to finally going through the quality trials well, and here we need to show our strength every editor's strength is very, very important in the quality trials so uh, for you know, on the scientific platform so without wasting time we understand from our experts about the role and responsibilities and rewards to the editor so we received various questions from our editors uh on uh, to discuss uh, about the role and this uh, responsibilities of editors today and uh, i i i uh, request you all to ask your questions on question answer box and also if anyone wants to uh, uh give their exper uh, expert opinion live on front of our editors please ping me on my chat box i will uh, it's a pleasure to have your uh, listen you live thank you all so from uh, now uh, we are starting with the question answer and discussion segment so uh, my first question is to uh, dr ss uh, jha that uh, what is the editor's responsibilities towards author over to you sir well thank you very much nikita well this is the key question that you have put forward to me and as you have already stated it is not only two cornered one corner being the editor's corner and the other being the author's corner there is another i can say behind the scene corner which is reviewer's corner so it is an interaction between the first of all the author comes into play he writes down his script and then forwards it for his publication to the editor so here the reviewing process starts so edit editorial review starts from submission of the article for publication now now the editor goes for a screening and in this screening he primarily looks for that can this be a publication which will ultimately see the light of the day after getting it reviewed by a panel of reviewers that panel may vary from two to more now regarding this reviewer the author does not know who he or they are so i think the or the editor has to appear to be very very direct and sincere in his approach so that what is his prime aim the prime aim of the editor is that set standard for the journal which has been targeted is achieved by his subsequent actions so now i would like dr lalit to also specify thank you you have told very beautifully that two sides of a rope actually editor's responsibility is just like unlimited sea there is one limited water in the sea because from you start from one end and you go to the end of this season and you find there lots of things are still uncovered everywhere just like the uh, starting from the uh, giving the right review to the right reviewer and from there just going to the editorial decisions describing and implementation of the uh, various policies in favor of the authors as well as for the reviewers friendly 
and as well as at the same time sir we have to maintain the general standard procedure of acceptance there are uh, various uh, timely publications communications those are the things are unlimited and if you start with from the like towards the reviewer towards the author towards the publication house and at the same time sir maintaining the uh, editorial freedom this is very much important for an editor so editor responsibilities sir there is no end but if you could start counting them then yes the legal and ethical part is the most important from the editor's point of view and i think uh, anu ma'am also want to say something on that anu ma'am you are muted yes yeah thank you dr lalit um i ju i'll just agree and uh, most of the things are very nicely explained by dr jha and dr lalit uh actually all those things uh these um, responsibilities of the editor towards the authors and reviewers uh one of the main thing is it's always given on the site so they can always refer back because uh, whatever we are saying uh you know uh, it's just on the listening panel but the reference or the resources that one can visit the journal site there the authors instructions are nicely given even in our journal all the journals of icr uh, journals they have that and then to have some additional knowledge uh, one can go for the cope and one can go for the council of science editors if you'll google you'll find everything yes um i'll just uh, emphasize again what uh, uh, our other esteem and distinguished uh, panelists said that uh, the things are very pretty simple the instructions to authors are uh, streamlined the policies have to be laid down by the editors be it the policy of confidentiality be it of conflict or any other policy and there are so many authors so all those authors uh, what are the stakeholders and what are their contributions so different journals have the different format but more or less uh, all the journals have same criteria that whatever uh, article is being published the contribution of the authors be specifically mentioned and uh, reviewers uh, guidelines are also given and most of the journals when they are sending uh, the articles for reviewing they uh, send them the format in which they have the guidelines like there is some newness in the article for example and uh, there is some plagiarism or um, i mean all those uh, parameters are there what uh, contribution this kind of study is giving to the latest scientific research so all this uh, uh, is included uh, when the article is being sent to the reviewer for reviewing the article so all those guidelines are being set by the editor editorial team rather i would say all the editors and the all the technical staff so i'll just uh, um ask uh, dr satish if he would like to add something to it Satish, please unmute. Sir, you are muted. Unmute yourself, sir. Yeah, almost all the points have been covered by all the other panelists, and uh, I was answering to the questions asked by the uh, our audience in the chat box. Uh, they were asking about the roles of section editors or the concerned editors of an editorial team towards uh, the either the authors or their concerned roles. if you look into that the apart from being an editor in chief if you are a section editor and the major role of you is to identify the particular uh, reviewers of the concerned section or the specialty to get the article uh, best peer reviewed to have the quality of the article to be upheld at all the times and you can form a network of your own specialty so that you can get the article that fast track in uh, peer reviewing so that the turnover rate of your article that is being assigned to you by the editor in chief as a section editor is very short so that you get to uh, experience with many new ideas of manuscripts and many uh, you can have your own team of uh, panel of peer reviewers so that the process goes on and on in a very fast rate so that we can have more number of uh, innovative articles into your journal 
so that is a main uh, thing regarding uh, a section editor or a subject editor in, in an editorial team as of uh, as a whole team of uh, journal of editors uh, thank you uh, and uh, uh, one one more line i would like to uh, add uh, as dr anu ma'am said uh, we uh, innovative publication is very uh, strict about the policies to follow by uh, co uh, pe cope and uh, uh, we are the members of uh, niso cac as well as i say mje etc so we are following all this uh, policies of international uh, norms of publication that uh, uh, that is the publication ethics uh, guidelines we follow all this uh, thank you so now we are coming on the second question and uh, the question is the uh, i i i shoot to dr lalit gupta sir and uh, uh, the question is editor responsibility uh, responsibilities to what's reviewer so uh, if you see this is a very important question because every editor once has been a reviewer in past in the sort of past so he has promoted from a reviewer and he knows what a reviewer wants and what are his daily responsibilities so if i start innovating like the uh, the very first thing is he should Uh, choose a proper reviewer for a particular manuscript because editor has the whole database where he can see ki which reviewer has the which type of specialty uh, which is sub specialty like in the pain the critical care or whatever the things so he can assign the article properly he establishes a process of review where the articles can be reviewed on the quantitative as well as the qualitative basis so the whatever the format is given by the general and is modified by the author and the, by the editor in chief or the editorial board is passed to the reviewer to make the comments accordingly and then there is a proper the written instructions are given to the reviewer which are usually on the general side which are for the reviewer's help whenever you are joined as a reviewer yeah, you can go through those uh, guidelines and you can review accordingly and another thing is that there is the requesting you can review there is a you need the fast wing or if you need some particular type of wing you can always request a reviewer and after that most importantly there should not be whenever you are choosing a reviewer any conflict of interest because if you see if he there you know ki the article is from a particular institution and if you are assigning a reviewer from the same institution and you know ki the reviewer may not like that type of the author and he may or give the opinion which is not as per the interest of the article so he should see what is the possible conflict of interest may be possible if he has to review the to assign that type of review and moreover the most important time a appropriate time should be given to for a review so whenever he is choosing a reviewer he must see the past record of the reviewer ki how much time has been taken by that reviewer so he can accordingly assign that article to a particular reviewer who can give the fast reading who can give take some times but the reviewer should be okay and moreover uh, there should he should thanks a particular group of the reviewers or whatever the reviewers are doing if the review is good or the fast or as per the guideline uh, editor should be generous enough to give the uh, message of email of the thanks for every review that this has been done Uh, apart from this, if anything is to be had, may request uh, Numa or Jhasar to please give some insight. Right, you have nicely brought out uh, the conflict of interest issue. So that is uh, one area of information that should be available with the editor with his experience, as you have said, that may not preferably belong to the same institution, may not personally. have something against that particular uh, um, author so similarly what is also important is that when the reviewer writes a report back suppose which is not favoring the publication now this particular uh, statement of the reviewer has to be sent back to the author for reformat reformatting or rewriting his publication once again so and as you have rightly said the time limit also becomes very important not that this is kept in on the desk of the reviewer for so many weeks preferably i think we can level it minimum 4 weeks and should not exceed 8 weeks or so uh dr anu anything Uh, i i agree sir i mean uh, whatever has been said uh, is um, i mean um, they have covered all the points 
and yes the last point uh, you know which was uh, told by dr lalit i i really uh, would emphasize that point again and that is appreciation because it's a human nature that everybody loves to have the appreciation and uh, reviewer job is i mean they are giving the time and uh, we can gift them uh, this kind of appreciation letters in kind of certificates and certain uh, awards like best reviewer or something which can add up to their promotion policy also so that will add to their cv so that's one thing we can uh, i mean build up more and one other thing to add to the points that has been told about uh, the role of editor to the reviewers is that he is responsible for blinding of the review so the that part has to be taken care by the editor so that the reviewer doesn't know the institution or the person from whom the manuscript has been submitted so that it will be a totally a double blinded peer review so that the article gets a fair uh, fair enough review of the quality and the standards yes a few questions are live uh, dr sitir sir uh, uh, related to the uh, this uh, uh, topic uh, may i request dr lalit sir and dr sitir sir please uh, uh, see once uh, uh, this uh, question answer box uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. since there are many editorial board member can you uh, please explain how the workflow will be so uh, yes it is from dr viresh hanchinal sir dr viresh so uh, this we will, will uh, explain whole process by dr lalit sir and later on uh, live demo we will give on the inofpub.org thank you any any more question related to review dr satish sir here uh, i think no, we can no. proceed, uh, can proceed. Co question by question okay Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. So, so the next question is uh, the uh, what is the editor's responsibility towards reader and scientific community? Readers and scientific community. And uh, my question is first to Dr. Anu, ma'am, and then your ex all exp uh, expert opinion is invited. Thank you. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, ma'am, for. Uh... um asking such an important uh, component of the whole process because actually whatever we are doing we are doing it for the reader and for the community so if we are delivering the best that should be uh, the criteria and for that uh, we should see like uh, whenever we are uh, selecting the topical or giving uh, for the sending for the review at first step like it should be the responsibility of the editor to scrutinize also there are many a time certain articles which are uh, not worth sending to the reviewers so at that step the editor can uh, scrutinize it and then can send further because whatever article is there it should be evidence based if the reader uh, wants to read have the resources so all those things should be evident in that only then it can solve the proper purpose there should be all the disclosure disclosure of the resources and working with the publisher should also be a main responsibility of the editor because it will attract the best manuscript and research that will be of best interest to the reader and whenever we are doing all these things we should provide a mechanism also by which it is easily accessible to the reader there can be certain journals there can be certain things but they are not readily accessible to the community to the you know uh, specific scientific community there are certain things which we can make uh, available to the public also not only to the scientific community um, so that is like there are certain things like covid uh, related aspects which is um, uh, you know um, very much i think she has got disconnected yeah It's not only to the medical library right and then maintaining the journal's internal integrity correcting errors clerically uh, you know clerical um, errors should be rectified 
identifying and differentiating types of content, such as reports of the original data, opinion pieces, and for example, editorials and letter to the editor. So those things should be paid um, uh, attention because letter to the editor is something which the editor should address properly. So all those kind of things can uh, um, are the part of the responsibility of the editor towards the reader. So I would like to request uh, Dr. Jha and Dr. Lalit to add to it. Uh, you have rightly pointed out everything, I think. Uh, finally, any journal has uh, to have communication with the uh, it should be targeted to the certain class of maybe not general public because all the journals are not exposed for the public. It is for a certain section of uh, uh, scientists. So from amongst those, you have to see that the latest development in the field, if articles are not pouring Concern to the latest development, you can sometimes invite articles also. So these are the various ways by which you can gain access to the latest in the field for the concerned journal. Yes, sir. And I would like to add one more thing, sir. The editors as responsible should try to avoid the citation manipulation because uh, that is very important if you are giving something good to the readers and the citations are manipulated and it is repeated for a particular person then it is unethical and moreover if the journal has some submission fees and that article is of particular interest and that may uh, benefit a particular community or suppose a large one uh, group of people in some time then the fees really may be waived on the discretion of the editor so two things like citation and publication fees also is a part of responsibility towards our readers. Right. Uh, and one other thing is the editor has to look into disclosing all the conflict of interest with all the authors of a manuscript to the readers so that they yeah. have a, a, a fair point of the conclusions and results derived out of their study, knowing their background and their conflicts involved in the study. Right. Uh, Nikita, what I feel, yes, after sir. your one question, we should go into the chat box and okay. look into the comments or whatever questions are there. So one from your side and one from take from the chat box. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and I, let I, Dr. I, Satish take up questions or statements from the chat box or you can... Yeah, do I, I'll, do that. I'll do that. I'll try to answer them then and there and if at all it needs a discussion, I'll bring it up in the phone. Sure. Uh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Uh, so, so can can uh, can I move for the next question and that is uh, to uh, uh, Dr. Jha, sir, again, uh, that what is the editor's responsibility towards journal owner or publishers? Journal owner? Yes. Or publisher. Okay. Journal oh, oh, owners are like societies and the publishers. They. Then, they okay. Yes. No, no, I now understand. Owner by by owner, the spelling is O W N E R. Is that correct? Yes. So, uh, for any scientific journal, the owners like for any social publication or social magazine. So the standards will have to be different. Like nowadays for social pub publications, there is a blame game going on that this owner is influencing the editors, which in scientific community is not to be done. So the editor is not to be influenced by the owner's program and rather, rather, I would like to say the editor should not sit in the lap of the owner. He should use his freedom or autonomy, as very rightly said by Dr. Lalit in the beginning, that he must, and that is why the editors must be persons who do not have any blemish. 
but sometimes the breezes do not cross each other and uh, maybe editors have to pay the price of not being in the same tune so editors first commitment is that particular scientific journal must come out with brilliance whatever is the true research work of the author concerned lalit sir thank you you have taken a very important point we should not bend for the editor uh, for the owners uh, inappropriate demand however for i think for some financial help to the publisher sorry, sorry, the sorry. limited amount uh, of uh, request may be considered like particular advertisement like for a company if you can publish some in the as a supplement or a single page or two page which may help the publisher or some like marketing because you want if the publisher wants to market the uh, your journal so you can help in that by not by by taking any uh, money but on your social platforms with your contacts and through like contacts where uh, it can help the publisher to gain in the wide uh, publication and we have some financial help but not undue advantage like sir this article has to please accept although this is not if he has taken the money from some author he said please i have taken the money so please accept it however if the article is not in the general interest the editor has the final say no i will not get it right Anything anyone else, else? yeah okay so can we move for a next question or uh, doc, uh, dr muthu any question in chat box related to this topics yes nothing related to this uh, segment of the questions no okay. go, no no what i would like to muthu mm -hmm. there are certain questions or some statements so go okay, through sir. those statements one by one okay i think it is full chat box is full yes sir from the beginning if we see sir uh, yes yes yeah they are asking about the norms laid down by the innovative publication for uh, editing research papers is there any norms set by the innovative publication house oh, uh, yes uh, every uh, uh, actually there is a guideline uh, for uh, authors reviewers as well as editors on the uh, publication website it is available in the publication web website and uh, all other guidelines like uh, manuscript and uh, um, every guideline is available on the individual journal websites also so you can go through the journal website whatever the preferred subject of yours and you visit that website and on the, uh, the that all the norms are available there uh, yeah nikita, the same as nikita yes. what i would like to add is yes sir uh, there is always a kind of a misunderstanding if i can say so between okay. the editor and the author okay. the author feels that the editor is not doing justice to my yes, manuscript whereas the the uh, uh, editor feels that these authors they are not knowledgeable they do not understand how to write and they can simply be understood on the right lines if we, they go through whatever is published concerning this in the journal and also on the website as has been brought out by nikita yeah right. exactly uh, but uh, but sir uh, actually what what happen is there is a huge resources is already we are on the basis of uh, international norms we had set as an publisher and uh, the editorial board uh, members has set for the uh, author as well as reviewers on the uh, website of the individual journals website actually so all details are available uh, there. Uh, so i'm uh, and i'm totally agreed with uh, your point that there is a gap uh, so uh, uh, but uh, uh, i guess we are trying to uh, reduce this gap only uh, through this type of uh, events and uh, right. training program yes sir dr uh, muthu those who have just said hello also say hello to them <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone mention their name 
as I can yes. see. Okay, uh, please go ahead. Uh, so the, okay, the next link... question is. Uh, let me talk. Yeah, shall we go with the chat box questions now? Yeah, yes, yes, you, you yes, can. Yes, you can take it. Oh. Take. Okay. The Some next help. one is regarding the role of a subject editor, sir. Okay. So that you have said, perhaps. Yeah, so that we have text. discussed about. Ah, yeah, it that is we already discussed. discussed. We have already explained. Right. Any comments on incentive based editing? Incentive based editing. The and reviewing. Uh, Incentive based itself gives a food for thought that there is something suspicious. Something fishy is involved. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so, so that goes a hundred percent out of context for consideration. It should be outright rejected. Now, what I find is number one, Ashok says to host and panelist, "Good evening, everyone." So you. Uh, take a note of Mr. L. Ashok. Thank you very much for joining us. Similarly, the next was Dr. Himansu Aran. Again, he says good evening, so uh, say hello to him. Uh, likewise, proceed. Okay, sir. The next is regarding the role of an associate editor. The role of an associate. I think uh, you better start answering this. You talked about okay. section editor. You say yeah. ad additional editor. Yeah, actually the editor-in-chief, uh, if it is a broad specialty journal, like you can say orthopedics, uh, there is a very uh, huge number of specialties that are branching out of the field. So the editor-in-chief may not find the appropriate uh, uh, ed uh, either the peer reviewers to or the potential authors to attract attention to get new papers or to get it reviewed by the team of people uh, who are working on the concerned specialty. So there came the that comes the role of an associate editor. The associate editors are there to help the editor in chief in uh, making the work simpler for them, so that they don't get the burden of all the articles that are submitted to a concerned journal. Right. In case of high volume journals, a single person cannot handle everything. So there comes the role of an associate editor. So he can handle some four or five specialties. If it is a broad specialty, he can take a look after two three specialties or depending upon the number of associate editors available for a concerned journal, the work gets split up and it has been taken care of in such way. Okay. And it will be given to the subject editors. Now, Dr. So, Nikita. For sir, one more thing I would like to add. Uh, associate editor also helps like an acting HOD to the HOD. When the editor is not available for some reason or he is not keeping his health well, and he can share the associate the editors can share the responsibility till the new editor in chief or the new editor is appointed or there is some problem with the editor. So they are basically the acting HOD type persons who, who has the full responsibility uh, when editor has shown the uh, perfect uh, concern with them. So in the case of any emergency, they can take over the work of the editor. Exactly, sir. Yeah. Yes. Also, oh, so can we also comment on the editorial freedom, uh, Dr. Hello. Gupta, sir? Yes, uh, Anu, ma'am. <laughs> I, I think uh, Dr. Gupta, sir, has already said it, autonomy and, uh, you know, the freedom. That is a freedom only, you know, your own desire to, uh, it's not only desire, it is, uh, you know, something ethical. And uh, there has to be uh, the responsibility of the editor is uh, fairly uh, done only if the person is authorized enough. And uh, that is, uh, you know, applicable for everything. Uh, as we have already discussed the responsibility for the owner and uh, for the publication houses also. For there also, if um, as Dr. Jha has uh, has also said, like uh, we have to be, uh, you know, uh, not um, the person should not be sitting in the lap of the, uh, you know, owner. So that is one thing uh, that is freedom. So autonomy is freedom and uh, making up decision, you know, your own decisions, which which can be. Uh, with the help of associated uh, associate or editors and the whole team, not uh, not only one person is doing it. And uh, then regarding the sponsorship also, and regarding uh, taking the journal to the bigger heights, like sometimes the person has some, 
like these kind of articles have to be there and uh, that kind of thing the editor should have the freedom to do that because that person is uh, from that line he has the vision so he, he can uh, he or she can you know uh, make it uh, in a forward move so all those things and then the journal mission statement should be there and if the journal mission statement is there then that is a freedom with the um, editor because that way the things will be dealt better and then editorial priorities should be there objectives and measure of success so all this is uh, included in the freedom and editorial policies that should uh, there should be freedom for that and written job description should be there and specifically detailing components of editorial freedom so those things should be uh, documented they should be proper and uh, as i have already said that an editorial board including associate editor and other making a team there should be a freedom for that also so that um, you know like minded people and uh, achieving the same goal all those people are together working together as a force and direct lines of communication with the publisher owner and um, all those uh, stakeholders should be there so that is included in the freedom i would uh, very request. right very rightly you have said anu everything but if talking about freedom of an editor if we have to make a comparison i will say that it almost compares to judiciary mm -hmm. where a judge has his own freedom but he is also by bound with public criticism if not his superior criticism so justice must also seem to have been done to the author's uh, presentation of his manuscript that proper judgment has been done if he does not do it regularly in few articles or few manuscripts some unseen forces will look at it that now somewhere this editor is not using his freedom in the right manner right yes, very right sir because very this right. is the most important point and in uh, and this is relevant with all the systems right. as you said judiciary and this is relevant with the editors also so i totally agree there should be a mechanism to prevent inappropriate uh, you know influence on the editor wow. it can be in any form right sir yeah this uh, editorial freedom regarding uh, fair policy in judging and manuscript is being made uh, is being contracted or it is being made strictly uh, scrutinized based on making all the reviews being available to the public in very uh, in various international journals they make even the comments of a peer reviewer being available to the readers so that it is uh, noted from the reader perspective that it is being evaluated in a fair way and it has been scrutinized well before uh, understanding about the robustness of the results that is concluded from the studies and the freedom also includes uh, the decision the authority of an editor to either to select or reject an article without any peer pressure from the owner aspect or from other external sources he must have the freedom to have a choice of decision based on the fair review that has been done and uh, apart from that the editor can also have a freedom as uh, said previously by uh, dr lalit sir that he might uh, waive off the fee if it is a paid journal for any uh, outstanding articles which might uh, be of uh, profound use to the readers although they were not uh, sufficiently financed or well funded he can still uh, waive off the publication or submission fee and make it available to the readers those are the lines in which we can see the freedom to be used appropriately so transparency is the key word can key be word. the key word right exactly yes, sir. transparency exactly. is the key word and uh, as the waiver policy you are discussed about that uh, for every journal they have uh, their own waiver policy on the basis of that uh, editorial board uh, plans actually uh, in the chat back with chat box also we have one question that uh, how much article uh, an editor should be uh, submitted for a journal dr lalit what is your comment on this uh, please speak i could not see that question 
uh, it is uh, on uh, above and uh, yeah. uh, this yeah how much article an editor can uh, submit for uh, issue or for a journal so the question is very itself is a controversial because mm -hmm. as an yeah. editor if you are bringing in yeah bringing an issue and you are not supposed to post the article which may have the conflict of interest if you are bringing an your article in a particular uh, uh, issue then you should have partial impartial uh, assessment of your article by your associate editor and who is not in a direct conflict of interest with you until your article is properly judged you are not supposed to bring an article however an editorial is permitted because it brings your views for the general betterment but again you should also have the uh, leverage of appointing the guest editorials of your uh, from the very good personalities and the eminent persons in their respective field so from me from my side until and unless you are not bringing a new topic of some uh, really important information for the peers you should not bring until your article is properly uh, evaluated by the others editor and the right. same question is rakesh yes. has a point yes sir uh, nikta as per uh, chat box question as per do as a guidelines editors allow to submit 20% of the articles suppose in a year 100 article is publishing so out of 100 20 articles can be submitted by editorial editorial board member editorial board, board. So 20% is allowed uh, as a publisher allow and rest of authors come from different different authors right that's the same question you want nikta yes uh, yeah actually the I, uh, in uh, our uh, i mean this uh, we Chari. have the same question that is uh, what about your comments on the conflict of interest so uh, so this is also the one of related query just yeah. like dr yeah. uh, uh, gupta said so so we are continue with the same question what is the conflict of interest comment uh, give your comment on conflict of interest of See, in few journals, uh, only editors and editorial board submit the article, so that is comes under the conflict of interest. Yes. So its uh, articles come from different different geographical locations, not from the editorial board. Okay, uh, Dr. Jha sir, uh, would you like yes. to add on on this anything on the uh, comment on the conflict of interest? Well, uh, conflict of interest is very self evident. that you are trying to public something from where you are linked in some way and which is not ethical so from conflict of interest comes ethical motives also and uh, i think dr lalit is an expert on this and he can throw some light thank you sir actually the conflict of interest can be your personal or your financial or non financial if you go by the financial personal interest that i have told you the article that you have submitted in your journal it may show your personal conflict of interest because you are not supposed until or unless your article is properly peer reviewed by others who have the special alignments in your field and regarding the financial if you are getting you as a study suppose you are a part of some trial that is published and you know that the reviewers who are also reviewing that article may somehow link then with that trial it may again become the financial conflict of interest because the company may have paid the reviewer or the author to make a particular report in favor of that trial similarly non financial uh, non uh, directly indirectly means like suppose the hospital where the study is conducted is conducted and is going to be published however the same hospital or the particular center is owned by the pharma company for which the trial is done and you are now publishing that particular uh, report that it can again be conflict of interest similarly controversial topics as i told you that you have sent to a particular author who doesn't like that author the that topic and if the reviewers reject that although it was a very good topic then again it becomes a conflict of interest and regarding the some non financial you are getting some honor like if you submit this article we will submit your articles in our journal again it becomes a conflict of interest so if you are taking any advantage in any way it becomes a conflict with your present i think dr muthu want to add something 
yeah in any place where the fair transparent policy is broken there arises a conflict of interest exactly in words. yeah Simple i would interest. like to add to it like sometimes when we are reviewing an article and there also a conflict of interest can come for example i am reviewing an article and i am working on the same project so i would not like that article to be published because my article will be in line so that kind of conflict with the reviewers those, those kind of non uh, financial conflict which can be academic religious and all those conflicts can also be there sometimes being the head of the department and uh, there is some other person who wants to publish it so there can be some conflict of interest with the um, reaching the general consensus and uh, there can be certain controversial matters also there can also be uh um some uh, you know religious based or something so they those things also can be conflict of interest that is the reason why then most of the good articles are sometimes rejected yeah right, yeah right. absolutely and here comes the role of the editor once again that okay. whom he is choosing as a reviewer yes right, right. exactly yeah well, the exactly. very important point yeah and uh, i next... have realized many a times the editor when sending the article to be reviewed there is a declaration by the reviewer also that there is no conflict of interest yes yes, yes. exactly yes. Uh, so uh, there are, now the question is very important, and uh, uh, my question is to Dr. Gupta again uh, that what is the editorial board particip uh, participation in different stages and uh, uh, in the organization also? So this uh, thank you. This question is partly already answered by Dr. Satish Muthu, where an editor in chief has some associate editors. and from there we can have some section editors from section editors to have the particular sub editors and from there to the reviewers and then to the author so the whole tree is like that from one branch to another branch and where one there is a the interconnection between each and every one because as dr satish has already told in a high voluminous general it is not possible for a single editor to see all the articles so he may have as per their interest like some of the orthopedic articles of a particular musculoskeletal one of the bone fracture and like these he can give the some particular section editor uh, where they can choose the article and they can send it to the further uh, reviewers so this is like a tree yeah uh, anyone else want to add their uh, opinion okay i think it's very well covered with uh, by dr gupta yes. Uh, so sir, one one very interesting. interesting question is coming in chat box. Ah, uh, the from Doctor Ah uh, De uh, Devar Shri Kar. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, what is, is the future? They are asking about what is the future of guest editorship yes, for journals. Even though you are not an editorial board, ah, uh, board they are being called up as a guest editor for a particular issue, and they are bringing up the papers of their own. And uh, nowadays, many publishers are doing this. And uh, what are your views about it? that's to the panel so i think uh, this is a very valid question talking yes. about future i think the future is not bleak it is yes, always sir. bright and within the powers of the editor because now suppose something is happening in the world of science in a particular field and somehow that thing is not being covered through one of the manuscripts submitted in the journal so from persons of eminence in the field you invite an article and that is what is a guest editorial uh, like for example i myself have been guest editors many a time and i have tried to come out with the latest in the field so what is the harm i don't i don't see any harm and uh, i i do see that uh, imagination of the editor in inviting such guest editors is very important yes sir and again so more than the guest, uh, yeah more than the guest editorial sir they are being uh, given a guest editor uh, post in the particular journal and they are being allotted with a particular topic like a hot topic on a field is being allotted to them or upon the choice of the editor the topic is given and he is 
supposed to bring out with a special issue kind of thing on the particular topic so that all the recent advances are being covered in the particular special issue that is happening in many journals sir so that is almost like invited articles yes yeah. sir and the yeah. best editor is particularly is of that field for like we have seen the covid issues special covid issues have been uh, in past for many journals and they have the guest editorial ship where the particular persons who has worked a long in the that covid area has been appointed as a guest editor to bring that particular issue so where he can bring the uh, good articles from his friends his uh, mentors as well as his uh, connections where he can get the good articles for a good issue i have seen many journals they are uh, in particular um, you know going for the medical education uh, issues yes. so um, um, in that particular issue only the medical education related articles are being published and the editorial uh, guest ed uh, editor is going to be from that side only yeah exactly he has a special good yeah. qualification yeah. and expertise in that area that is going to be issue yeah. sir one more question it is also i mean we are, i mean every editor in chief is facing this question number of times so you are uh, best people to answer this question and uh, this is uh, that uh, editor receives two different report of one is given acceptance another is rejection rejection by two different reviewers of the same manuscript what should be the course of action of editor then very simple yes. when there is a conflict exactly ju judgment third becomes one. very easy yes third go empire for, <laughs> go for the third empire and photo finish photography you have for the third empire to help so uh, rightly said that uh, you always go for a third empire uh, okay Uh, 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 you are, you are, Doctor Gupta, sir. Uh, uh, you are okay with this comment, or you have something yeah, else to add? I just want to add before uh, if the editor has uh, access to the both the reviews, so he should go at least once the reviews why it has been rejected. Because sometimes, as I told you, we are mm -hmm. conflict of the interest. If the author is working, the reviewer is working on the same field as I have told you, he may have wrongly rejected it. Or if you think there is some scope, if he thinks he must go through a manuscript, and he goes, he thinks there is some scope that it can be improved or can be published, then he should, as Sir has told, should be sent to the third reviewer. And if the third reviewer is not available, sometimes the editor can decide themselves from the other manuscript if it can be accepted and rejected. And if there is some scope of improvement, he can write the points to the author along with that. You have a stipulated time of few weeks or few days, and you have to submit back your submission with this this comment. Okay. Yeah, sir. Yeah, I have something to add to it. Uh, if there is a conflict in the review uh, decision that is being given, you can look into the individual comments, which is valid for uh, rejection. Uh, if there is a conflict in rejection, then you you can check it easily with the quality of uh, comments that is being given for rejection. But uh, conflict regarding an acceptance is very difficult because there will be a blanket statement saying that the article is is well written and it can be accepted as such. only this kind of blanket statement will be there and they don't be fairly reviewed at all in case of conflict for acceptance but only for rejection you need to find the comments to be very valid only then you can go with that uh, point okay uh, but dr gupta has rightly said that you can always send all those comments the points that have been mentioned in rejection to the author yes yes sir i would uh, uh, yes sir yes yes, yes doctor uh, sir uh, after two or three edit uh, it, uh, reviewers are giving the uh, reject accept or rejection rate so final decision editorial board and editor in chief is the whole decision maker so editor in chief, chief they can decide and that will be acceptable in any journal sir. यदि कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दो डिफरेंट रिव्यूवर्स का होता है तो फाइनल हो सकती है तो वो वो ही विल गिव देयर ओन ओपिनियन आल्सो के जो फोरम में कई क्वेश्चन इस टाइप के आते हैं तो उसके आंसर में भी ये मेंशन होता है एडिटर इन चीफ इज द फाइनल पर्सन हु कैन गिव देयर डिसीजन Yes. yes, verdict exactly the right word. Even if there is a conflict with all the reviewers that are assigned, and they are all saying for rejection, and if you find that article is not fairly reviewed, the editor in chief can still accept the article, looking into the matters of the manuscript. 
merits might be uh, sir might be editor in chief is not uh, belong to that subject in that case editorial board member also can decide yeah can editor in chief yes, don't uh, belong to that specialty yeah specialty yeah so okay uh, so the next question is uh, that uh, um, what is the role of editor in chief uh, till time we are discussing about editor's role now uh, we are uh, i uh, i mean the question is the role of editor in chief uh, yeah dr anu ma'am <laughs> i mean uh, uh, dr jha sir has already said like this is like a jury only so uh, chief justice type of a feeling you know of the editor in chief so final uh, actually the whole responsibility the main stakeholder is editor in chief so that person has to regulate that person is playing a major role I in ensuring that. all aspects of producing supplementing special series call for papers going through a rigorous review process the journals eic should execute the all the responsibility to show uh, to ensure the scientific integrity of the supplement special series call for papers uh, regulating the editorial board and uh, looking after all those uh, momentarily we have lost her but i think she might come back kind of opinion between the two reviewers only then the editor in chief can uh, decide so all those controversies all those uh, things which have to be channelized properly for the publication process is the sole responsibility of editor in chief so that person is very crucial and that person is the main stakeholder and um, um, as far as all those roles which we have discussed till now like uh, having the responsibility with the owner publisher uh, author uh, reviewer all those things actually Uh, in nutshell is the responsibility of editor in chief and uh, then there is a team of associate editors and other editors delegating the job to them also is the job because he is a team leader he or she is a team leader so uh, to have the proper organization to run the proper organization is the responsibility of the editor in chief again so the team show has to go on and that person has to have a proper license with the publication house with the editorial board team with the authors with the reviewers with the policies and all those things are coming under editor in chief uh, well spoken dr anu well if i am given the power to rewrite the rules of editor in chief i am basically an orthopedic rheumatologist and a rheumatologist always evaluates a disease on the basis of scores and the points are allotted to each one so he will be aggregator editor in chief will be aggregator of calculating all the scores like he will have an associate editor of that section he will allot importance to that associate editor than to the other one compared to other one who is not directly linked sim again more score to the sectional editor and then also he will have a scores for the reviewer and then he has a score for the content quality of content and so finally he calculates out of 10 this has 8 marks and so that is his editorial work out yeah true sir yeah that's correct dr muthu uh, can we take some more live question from uh, yeah question there are many things in the yeah. chat box Na, wh question. what i think you take 5 7 minutes and finish okay, as many as you possible Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure, sure, yes. sure, sure, sure. We'll do that, sir. But also that mention mention the names of the persons who have asked the yeah, question. Yeah, uh, yes, we can. Or sure, or sir. who says hello? Okay. okay. <laughs> There is one other uh, question from uh, Mahapatra uh, Debarshi Kar Mahapatra saying that 
I many a times receive a vague comment stating that the article is out of scope. However, in, in the scope of the journal, it is uh, all the areas of science are written. What is your opinion on that? Dr. Gupta, sir. So, Can you uh, read uh, the question once again where it is? Talk. I was also not able to find that. Uh, I this... received several times rejections yes, from yes. the journals with a vague comment out of scope. However, in the scope, they mention all areas of science. What is your opinion? Uh, uh, it sometimes happens when the article has already been published in the journal and journal do not see any merit of any publishing the same type of the article again and again. Moreover, the topic is very much old and is not in the public, although it comes under the preview of the journal because journal has given that in the guidelines what all to be published in general, but that is not more any of public interest. So general, general may always uh, reject that saying it is not present as per the scope of the journal. Uh, how I understand is, uh, Dr. Muthu, yes, sir. that before submission of an article, the author must be conversant by going into the bylaw. <coughs> Yes, and sir. all the descriptions that uh, my article is suitable for this journal or not suitable for this journal. Most likely, this out of scope comment uh, written and sent back to the author is only because the editor firmly mm -hmm. feels that the subject discussed is out of a scope for this journal. So the first lesson to be learned by the author is he must think thrice before sending a journal to a uh, sending his manuscript to a particular journal. That is very important. Uh, and now here itself, I would like to make a suo state suo moto statement. Somewhere I read that as an author, you write your manuscript, complete it, put it into your drawer forget it for about a week or 10 days or maybe two weeks. And then after two weeks, you take out your manuscript and then see how much correction or how much deviation you can again put into the same article. And he says that at many a times you will like to auto-correct yourself. That means yes, the, your first manuscript may, be the, may not be the perfect one. So give yourself also time. And that is how it makes you a perfect author. So I think this must be followed by all the authors. Thank you, sir, for this advice to everyone. Okay. It's a very important advice. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. Uh, so can, uh, yeah, as, from, uh, Mohan. can yeah. we take that? Yes, sure. Yeah, please, please. OK. Uh, can there be a guideline for a minimum plagiarism percentage acceptable for a journal? Is it 10%? Different journals follow different guidelines and scanning is being done by different softwares. What is the ideal percentage of plagiarism that is accepted? The answer by Dr. Muthu himself. Yeah, it is always 10%. Less than 10% is the ideal uh, percentage of plagiarism that is accepted because even that is being accepted for the reasons that Various terms cannot be uh, uh, interchanged or it cannot be uh, manipulated in any other way to reduce the plagiarism. And in many concepts cannot be defined in another way so that a 10% of plagiarism is being accepted as a standard in many journals and universities. Previously, it has been kept to 20 to 30%, but now it has been reduced strictly to less than 10%. And any thesis or any uh, scientific manuscript must be uh, having a plagiarism less than 10% is the current guidelines being followed. Uh, Dr. Muthu, I would like to phrase a question like this. Suppose yes, a particular sentence you feel is the cream, cream sentence in an original article which you also want to rewrite. Would you like to write it suo moto like what it was written there or would you like to change the framework of the sentence and uh, will that be will be permissible sir if you think the statement it's need to be written as such so that to convey the intended meaning you can write it within quotes stating that these are the exact yes. in total words of the author and it has been written as such if you write it within quotes it is like you are stating the your same statement given by the particular author right. but if you are writing it as a statement you can uh, very well change it and uh, write it in your own view of your understanding of the particular statement right Yes, sir. 
yes. go ahead go ahead with the next question and then yes. and then yes. dr uh, dr satish uh, we have first question about uh, 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 by dr viresh here about the editorial work flow so that is also very important because we want to explain that editorial workflow through inofpub.org so dr lalit uh, sir give that live demo for that so please uh, allow him for uh, that live demo thank you okay uh, sir okay. you uh, you are uh, you are able to uh, screen share your okay sir uh, give me 2 minutes yes sir so oh, another uh, we can discuss the topic okay so it is done then it's okay okay i am going to give you a live uh, demonstration how the inopub work so whenever you get in my like a message like uh, you have a message uh, in the form that you have manuscript this is this sir uh, kindly log in to your account and how will you reach so if i will uh, from the link i will go to the inopub and from the inopub i will uh, just log in in the editorial member means i am not going to the editor editor in chief but i am going by the editor so that everyone can log in from the editor editorial member i will log in so uh, give me one minute So that's here. I am going to log in. Okay, I have logged in, and from here, if you see, I have few articles in my uh, desktop. Here, I get a suppose I get a first article. Comparison of video learning was clear. Direct on direct vehicle intubation pediatric patient. Okay, and there is a one more test article which we have just put it to show you everyone. From here, I will go and uh, I will click on this article. Okay. This article is here now. I can see what is this article, what is the files which is available with me. Since I have seen this article, I can read the abstract from here only. I can expand and I can read if the, I think this article is good and I need to submit it uh, to some author. I will go back and I can will do. I will show you how how it works from here. I will go and uh, yeah from here and uh, from I will select the reviewer for this. And suppose I am selecting myself since this is a test article. I will go as a reviewer to myself, and I will click here, and I will assign to the reviewer. And here I will assign, and this you will get a message: you have been assigned successfully. You click the button, okay? And the article has now been sent to Dr. Lalit Gupta. Okay. I will go back to the home where I can see that the article that I have sent to myself, and it is active. Now I will log it from here, and then once I go, on, I will see a message from here. you have received a article for review okay i will accept it for the review here is the link for the acceptance of the review i will accept it and i will review i will see the status okay thanks for the article the article status successfully and now i will review with the reviewer password okay okay just give me one second now i will review it and from here if i see like this okay so i have the my test article like this so from here i can see i will download the article okay the suppose the uh, number of days i need to review is about 10 days i will save it from here and i can uh, once the article is saved with me i can do it save okay once the article is downloaded then i will go an option okay The article is there. I need not the article, so I can uh, cross it by the by now. And from here, I can add the comment. Suppose I have seen the comment. Since it is a test article, I am not going to how to review it. I will just say accept the article after the minor review. I will write the my comments as like uh, the article needs revision. Okay. Okay. From here, confidential remarks needs revision. i am not going how to write it but i am just showing you how it works okay and from here i will save and review okay the article has gone now from my account to the editor account okay it has gone so i will now from here i will log out the article has gone from my account now from here i can again uh, log in from my id and okay 
the article now will go to the editor in chief or the editorial member whatever profile you want to do suppose i goes with the editorial member i will see what the article has been written what the what all the changes have been assigned by the reviewer from here if you can see the article has been not in the my profile it means the article has gone to the editor's desk so i will go now it is not in my profile i will just log out from here and i will log in as the editor in chief profile So once I have gone, I will go to the manage article in the submitted article. So see, if, if we can see that there are many articles, and from here I have the article by the Rakesh Pandit sir, who this is the test article. I will click on this. Okay, the article is open. From here, if you can see, I can see the comments from here. Here is the option of view comments. Here, if I open it, I will see. Except the paper after minor revision, the article needs revision, needs revision. So I can see the comments, and from here I can receive whatever I want to do. So I will click on this, and uh, I can give my decision as. Okay. So I will say rewrite to the author or acceptance lack for the publication. So I see the author has been advised for the minor correction. I will rewrite to the author with the so same comments will be transmitted. The rewrite article sent to the author successfully. This is how Inopa works. And from here, if you see, they will get the result on the date and the time. The article is still active because it has been sent to the author. This is how our Inopop works. So, in case uh, if you guys have any uh, query, you can ask me. Very nicely explained, Doctor Lalit. So nice. Good workflow. Thank you, sir. I actually am in the day and night, so I am now with very much comfortable with Inopop. Right. And the if the things anything is left, I think Rakesh sir can tell because he is the main developer of this software. Rakesh sir, sir, you are muted. Thank you. You have uh, login as twice on the same ID as the editors and uh, reviewer as the editor in chief and the editors. So it's uh, no uh, some will be uh, editors will be get confused. So it's a uh, first one that you can assign the editors can assign the uh, reviewer also as per their subject specialty. Suppose in the anesthesia, so article is coming for the gynecology. So there is the option for select the reviewer as per their specialty. So editors can select the reviewer and they can assign the task. Again, we have developed the system for invitation invite for the uh, reviewers. If you look, there are no editors in subject to that sub, um, related subject, article subject. So you can in send invitation to reviewer if you know any reviewers. So that option you have, and you can send an article to reviewer, and reviewer can accept it and get a review. So uh, reviewer option is there. When editors can editor in chief can log in. And he can he or she can check all editorial board member comments sub, uh, related to subject specialty. So that option is there. I know PEP is a portal where editors, reviewer, editor in chief, authors all can log in on the same platform or all can work together with the single objectives. So it's the best. Uh, I request to all editorial board members and editors. Please join inopop.org. It's very user friendly. If you are facing any difficulty, please write us. We will uh, customize and uh, for uh, up update it for uh, easily uh, easy workflow of the pre-publication system. Yes, sir. And it is really and very easy to use. Yeah. Yes, Two sir. points I would like to add more that uh, recently, uh, I, uh, I I mean few year, few months back. 
we added uh, the automated email system also to the reviewer as well as editors so when you received your um, uh, email for the reviewing and editing of an article you please forward it to the editors at the red pablon.org.com uh, or uh, I, I mean uh, email id i will share with you on the email again or uh, rakesh if you have one uh, email okay, id फ्रॉम द इनोपब वन इज द रिव्यू कम्प्लीट थैंक यूर कंट्रीब्यूशन रिव्यू योर एक्ट सो इफ आई थैंक्स फॉर अर कंट्रीब्यूशन इन द इंडियन जनरल ऑफ मेकल एनालिस please send this mail to the review at the pablon.com so from here i will forward it this is from the editorial office and this is automated i will type it to the reviews at the pablon.com and from here i have nothing to do i will just send it just type the name of the reviews at the rate sir one interruption please i guess you you want to show your email id this time but yes, uh, sir, there is please. some another screen here okay okay, okay. sir so you just, have shared the wrong screen Yes. No, no. I am. I am showing you how to get the reviews for blog. Okay. 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 Go ahead, sir. Go. Ah, because I have seen, I have got a message from the Inopub that thanks for reviewing the manuscript as a reviewer. Sir, and actually, so the we... comments uh, window has been popped up and it is not showing the uh, thing what you are explaining right now. Okay. Okay. Just give me. I will show you again. I think there is some problem with the share screen with some person. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, my screen is visible to everyone. Yeah, yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. So this is the mail that I have received from the Inopop. Thanks for reviewing the manuscript. The article on behalf of editorial board of this, we appreciate the voluntary contribution. We thank you for participation. The online peer review process hope it may call upon, and you have to send this mail to the reviews at the rate pablon dot com. You have to do nothing. You have to just simply forward this mail to the reviews at the pablon dot com, and from here you have to send the send mail, and the mail has been sent to the reviews. similarly if you see uh, within few seconds of uh, uh, you will get another mail from the pablon that your uh, article is in the process if i get let me uh, check it if i uh, get that message also okay so you have got a message from review complete for the manuscript and the you can review the by login this is the message that i get when i some reviewer do the reviewing and uh, another mail which i get is reviewer agrees to review the this whole the editorial workflow is there and every editor gets same type of mail but you have to check yourself individually so if you go uh, from here uh, i don't have the at present the pablon message has just not come but the message will be thank you for using this service and your article will be processed as per the pablon yeah it's a very simple and short process and we request to all of the editors yeah all of our editors and reviewers to get their credit and uh, um, uh, recognition on the scientific platform uh, like pablon and orsin uh, we will uh, uh, have a live demo on pablon and arshid also tomorrow by dr satish muthu sir his excellent his, his profile is also uh, very uh, nicely updated so he will uh, share the live demo of uh, pablon and orshit for you all for tomorrow as well also uh, yeah dr muthu sir do you have any any question which we left live uh, if yeah, if there i missed yeah many. please there are many anikta uh, there is a short of time Nikta, yeah we are running short of one, time we'll make a quick discussion about it dr priyanka is asking please rakesh has some yes, sir, uh, for uh, editors uh, for sending if any editors is viewing the manuscript uh, they have to send mail on edits@pablon.com yes sir it's for the editors and uh, if a reviewer is uh, reviewing any manuscript they have to send review@pablon.com so both mail are going separately editors mail going for the editors and reviewer for reviewer mail is going for reviewers so both we have to take care and uh, in our partners uh, we have good number of editors and editorial board member are associated most of the editorial board member don't have a orchid uh, pablon id 
so i request to all editors please create your pavlon id it's very user friendly very simply uh, satish muthu sir will explain tomorrow how to create pavlon id and how to uh, update uh, your publication on orchid it's very easily so uh, integration of the your publication on pavlon and orchid it's uh, recognize the researchers on pavlon so we have to take care editors have to send mail on edits@pavlon.com and reviewer have to send mail on review@pavlon.com and it will be uh, reflect on their account and dashboard and please one more request whenever you send your mails to the pavlon and you go to your profile kindly endorse your particular journal whichever the specialty you are send me if it is any specific kindly important. kindly endorse the nsc if it is ortho kindly endorse the ortho journal related to our journal. this is also very important yes 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 now uh, so, we'll proceed with the question is it okay Yes, yes. yes. Now, please go ahead, sir. Because okay. tomorrow you have to explain everything about Orchid and Pavlon again. So we yeah, will go ahead with the questions. Yeah, you go ahead yes. with the questions. Uh, do we have any preference for being an editor or reviewer or a guest reviewer for a particular journal? If yes, what is the criteria based on which a journal should be selected? Like, sir, any takes on yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, please, once again, because I I could not hear you properly. Okay. What is the criteria based on which you will uh, select a journal to be an editor or a reviewer? So you want to join as a journal to the editor and reviewer? Yeah, there are many journals out there. How can I uh, select a journal to become an editorial member or a peer reviewer so, or something? So like? you say your your what is your choice? You say yeah. the citation. Do you say the journal indexing? You say the what is the scope of the journal? You just go to the journal website, read all the things what are available on the journal side, including the indexing of the journals. the past you see the past edition of the journal and you see the scope and the future aims and objectives of the journal if you are satisfied with that and you think you have the proper qualification to join as a reviewer or as the editor then you can apply to the editor uh, to the journal you have to be from that speciality exactly yes yes it was the very most important thing so <laughs> when when editors or reviewer are looking for the join the editorial board member or reviewer board member they have to uh, guidelines is mentioned under their web, web journal website at least 50 publication should be on that uh, special uh, specialty of the journals and for the reviewer uh, any scholars can uh, join as a reviewer they can learn the how to review the article on the reviewer uh, policy also there and the available on the websites you have to uh, apply and editorial office will uh, check editor uh, and they will confirm activate your accounts and uh, you have to take care when when you are applying in the journals for become a reviewer editors you must have to uh, belong the that subject specialty then it will be considered but one more thing yes. merely applying to a particular journal does not guarantee that you will be selected as a reviewer or an editor your application will be forwarded to the editorial board where decision will be taken by the editor in chief or the board of the editors whoever been appointed for those position and if they found you profile that you are yes suitable for that journal then only you will be added as a reviewer or editor many time it happens that you have been uh, applied for the editor but the editorial board thinks that you are more deemed suitable for the reviewer then you will be only offered as a reviewer for that particular journal and one so, more thing so, uh, Please, please, sir, please. No, no, please. please. Uh, from last one year, we have did de- 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 new observation. When any ed- any editors or any reviewer is going to join, they must have Orchid and Pavlon ID, and whatever the publication they have did, that should be updated on the Orchid and Pavlon. We have uh, recently updated uh, this criteria in last one year because this is the guidelines of the indexing agency. so if you were join for the applying looking for the joining the editorial board or reviewer board please update your orchid id and pavlon then apply for that you will must consider your uh, application please ha sir no i just wanted to say that you are mere an applicant and your application will be granted depends on the editorial board exactly and maybe management yes sir. right yes Exactly. Yes, Dr. Yeah, we will move on. Yeah, we will move on to the next question. 
what is your opinion in obtaining indexing databases for a journal and uh, many authors choose the journals which have a better indexing databases included in their profile so how the journals plan to improve the indexing databases so that the journals can increase the influx of manuscript <clears throat> beautiful question and we are here to discuss uh, that only uh, we are improving like this only because uh, initially i said to you uh, that uh, we we cleared the editorial tries but now we have to fight uh, I, i mean clear the uh, quality tries so for that quality tries we are working hard we all together all with the all editorial we are continuously having editorial board meetings uh, um, uh, of the different editorial board uh, for uh, updating their or sheet pablon etc because uh, how anyone can just like if uh, 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 some of one is just asking about that what is the minimum criteria to become editor so uh, we uh, we received your or sheet then we can find how much publication you uh, 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 published till date uh, so on the basis of that our editorial board decided that you are in in the editorial board or not right so in, similarly indexing agencies also do the same evaluation procedure so they are also checking our every detail like um, uh, or sheet your publications as well as your pablon id etc so uh, this is uh, how we want to be uh, uh, go for the next uh, uh, tries stays in the web of science and another uh, uh, indexing agencies also uh, rakesh would you like next, to add something yeah, yeah i'd like to add more thing yes. you have uh, currently applied for doj directly of open access journals web of science and mbs or most of our journals result will come by end of april or may result will come in the mbs maybe end of the april march april or may even three months it will be result will be coming in mbs it is as per nmc guidelines second web of science it take minimum 6 to 10 month time for evaluation process and approx all of our journals said applied in web of science that called science citation index and uh, its result uh, few journals have completed 5 month few journals have completed 6 month so within 2 or 3 month its result will come to us and thirdly we have uh, applied for doj doj results also under waiting so it will take another 6 uh, month time for a uh, final confirmation so almost within 2 or 3 or maximum 4 months result is coming of indexing and currently our journals is index with citation index uh, as per new guidelines but few institution are considering citation index few are not considering so uh, we are working and all indexing agency like web of science doj and pubmed they have a criteria for editorial editors and editorial board reviewers um validity they check uh, their uh, affiliations their uh, publication their uh, quality by orchid and pavlon id only so that's why we are trying to improve uh, uh, quality and uh, quality publication of the journals and orchid and pavlon and all the indexing agencies are asking for that so we re i request to all editors please update your uh, orchid id and pavlon even uh, indexing agencies are looking for the when any authors submitting any manuscript for submission of the manuscript they are asking for the orchid id in the uh, publication we have to update so we have started the asking uh, orchid id in submission no, no, no. of the manu in the manuscript so so it's uh, automatically updated and we have integrated inopub.org with orchid and pavlon we have get confirmation so once you will update on the you know your profile it will be automatic come everywhere you no need to update in again again so this are uh, we are working for that doj pubmed and doj web of science and mbs its result come very soon 
Yeah, yeah there is one other question. Um, what is the difference between a national and an international journal? Please yes. clarify. Dr. Muthu, sir, uh, you start first uh, answering this uh, national okay. and international journal. Yes. Actually, there are many uh, guidelines put forth previously, but uh, recently there is uh, the difference line is going very thinned out because uh, you don't find an article only from a particular region to a, a journal to call it as a national or a regional journal because we get international submissions from authors from other countries or other geographic locations. So you cannot definitely say a journal to be a regional or a national or kind of you cannot restrict the journal's uh, preview to a particular area alone. And you can only restrict it based on the subject or the speciality under which it is uh, hosting the articles. So I don't think uh, this uh, sounds valid in uh, near future anymore. What is your opinion, sir, Jasser? Uh, well, I feel that the editorial board for being called an international journal you must have editors uh, from all, of, all over the world. Uh, that, that could be one imaginary line which makes it international. Yes, sir. Correct, sir. Yes, sir. Correct, sir. Yes, sir. Correct, sir. Geographical. Uh, three point is there, sir. Hmm. Three point editorial board should be globally, not only from the India and a specific country. Similarly, articles should come from the different geographically, from different different countries. Yes, yes. Authorship and is also authorship distributed, distributed, yeah, of geographical. And uh, publisher must have to follow the international publishing, publishing guidelines. guidelines. Like uh, CO, MBES, uh, CO, ICMJ. Web of Science, ICMJ guidelines. If the journals are following all three or four criteria, it's come under the international uh, publication. International journals. International journals. Yes. Yes. I guess we are uh, running out of time, actually, exceeding time. So, so any more important question, Dr. Muthu, if you find, uh, we can take it or um, uh, we can take permission from Dr. Jhasar also. Oh, I'm very happy to see the name of Dr. Amina Sultan, our very own secretary, who says, good initiative. Well, uh, uh, you would have been happy, Amina, if you were here. Um, okay. <coughs> Maybe you are visible tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for being present. We have almost covered all the questions subject. So if we right. can call it a day. No problem. All right. And before that, before that, we must be thankful to all the participants who, who either made their presence felt through questions or even otherwise in the chat box. Please. Uh, yeah. Nikita, can we share the tomorrow's program with our uh, yes, participants? Exactly. So that Exactly. Now I'm coming on that point. Uh, so uh, like a number of questions are there and I would like to inform you that we are uh, uh, available to assist you 24 by 7 on our website with a question answer section. Uh, so you please visit our website for any question. There is a huge resources available there uh, in the form of any guidelines for authors, reviewers, uh, editors for uh, any uh, uh, publication, ethics and everything, misconduct, every information is available on our website. And uh, for the uh, previous uh, training and events, please visit our website sections, events and training uh, section, and also watch our YouTube channel, uh, where a number of resources are available to educate our editors, reviewers, and authors. And um, uh, if it is now compulsory to update, as Rakesh uh, said uh, right now, that we have to update our Pablon Orchid is Corpus Research ID, and it gives recognitions to you also as a researcher in the scientific platform. So it is important. Uh, to you also. So uh, we have to emphasize on the uh, updation of this all IDs. And for that, uh, we are going through the continuous 
training uh, for uh, for uh, 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 for integrating and updating this ids and tomorrow also we have a live session with dr satish muthu sir for, who is uh, going to be give us uh, uh, the detailings of uh, is, uh, this um, orchid and pablon uh, tomorrow and uh, uh, also um, we have award uh, and uh, uh, what is the rewards are available for the editors uh, we will discuss it uh, uh, tomorrow as well as we are uh, having some announcement of our best editors uh, for every general tomorrow so uh, we request you all to please uh, stay tuned and uh, join us tomorrow at 5 pm again so uh, uh, th 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 this is all from me and uh, now i would like to take permission from dr jha sir dr anu ma'am dr lalit the uh, sir dr satish sir rakesh uh, uh, if if uh, uh, everything is uh, i mean ma maximum questions is covered right now uh, so uh, yes sir dr jha sir please right please, uh, please go ahead with closer of this session it has been very perfect Mr. i yes. would like to one more thing i request to all editorial board member and editors if anyone is looking for any suggestion feedback or any they want to share any valuable points please write us uh, at rakesh.its@gmail.com we will consider and we will uh, update it and we will happy to uh, Uh, listen your uh, query and uh, update it uh, in our systems uh, even under mentorship programs uh, we we are looking forward to uh, have a great mentors and i uh, we of course know that uh, huge number of uh, uh, researchers uh, with us today and uh, the, uh, they have uh, the mentorship qualities uh, so please come forward and write email to us at the rate uh, at uh, info at the rate inofpub.org or npandit.its@gmail.com thank you all and uh, thank you all panelists today uh, thank you dr jha sir uh, thank you anu ma'am thank, thank you dr lalit sir thank you um, uh, shatish sir and we look forward you all to meet tomorrow and thanks all the participants and uh, we looking for you tomorrow please join us thank you and have okay. a great thank time you. thank you thanks to all doctor, of you thank you thank thanks you to everyone. Thank i must thank mention you. i find dr jyotsna uh, also there dr swen also there amongst the uh, visitors thank you everybody thank you thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Anu, you have been great you. And thank Dr. you, thank Lalit you. Is a real good expert. Yes. Dr. Satish Chaudhary is from uh, US. Uh, I guess he is not here uh, right now. And uh, uh, Dr. Vijay Chauhan, Dr. Uh, Vilma uh, Silva, Madam. Uh, uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining us, and we are looking forward for your valuable feedback. Thank you uh, all. Have a great do time. Dr. Satish is going to be the hero of tomorrow's function. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank Bye. You. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you.